Hi, my name is Don, and today I'm going to show you how to create a custom Windows desktop icon uh, like the one you see here. Um, if you don't already have it, what you're going to have to get is a, a .ico or a Windows icon format. Uh, it's a plug-in for Adobe Photoshop. Uh, you can get them pretty much on anywhere on the web. They're usually free. Uh, I got this one at telegraphics.com and it'll come in a zip folder you just unzip it and uh, drop it into your plugins folder in your Adobe Photoshop uh, just like you see here just open that folder up and drop that in there and then next time you uh, open your Photoshop it will automatically load that plugin for you okay we're gonna open up a new project and we're gonna make it 100 pixels by 100 pixels the reason it's so small is because it's uh, going to be an icon and it's going to get even smaller we're gonna resize it we're gonna put it on a transparent background and bring our uh, gonna maximize our picture and blow it up as big as we can get it and just for time I'm just going to make a simple smiley face here and I will go ahead and tell you uh, if you're not used to using a lot of layers, when you're when you're making an icon, it's really best to use as many layers as possible because uh, it's so easy to mess them up. The pixels are so large, what you're playing with is so large, it's real easy to mess up. So you really want to be able to uh, go back or or take out uh, mistakes. Okay, so I'm just gonna <clears throat> I'm just gonna stick a couple of eyeballs in here and. Uh, just make a simple smiley face blow up our brush a little bit and put a couple of eyeballs and just make a simple smile and just like that okay now what we're gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this and uh, I made one earlier I'll use that one okay what we're going to do with this is we're going to resize it from 100 pixels by 100 pixels to uh, actually we're going to make it because it's uh, our own windows icon and we can make it any size we want for the desktop I'm going to make it 50 by 50 but actual window icons or between 16 by 16 pixels and 32 by 32 pixels okay so we're going to go to the image size and I'm going to bring it down to 50 by 50 pixels and as I said uh, 32 by 32 pixels is the actual size for for an icon and um, 50 by 50 pixels and we'll click OK and as you see that makes it a much smaller okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to our file and save as and now that you've loaded your uh, ICO plugin your Windows icon plugin you can see in the file format box down here at the bottom that now we have a Windows icon file format so we'll load we'll uh, save it as a Windows icon and place it on our desktop and we'll name rename it and we'll name it Panic Smiley. Okay, and we'll click on the uh, Save button and put that right on our desktop. And now I'm going to show you how to change the icon in one of your folders. So what we'll do is we'll go to our desktop and I'll just grab my font folder. And you see our Smiley down here, but it's not an actual, uh, it's just a picture. It's not an actual folder or anything like that. When you open it up, you see it's just a picture okay so what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to right click on our folder we're going to go down to the properties click on the properties and you'll see a customized tab we're going to click on the customized tab and then at the bottom you'll see a change icon tab we're going to click on that and it'll bring up a browse box we're going to browse up to our desktop and we're going to find our panic smiley and you see our panic smiley right there we're going to grab that 
and click on OK and click on apply and again click on OK and as you see after that our folder will change to the smiley and if we click on it it's still the same folder it has all the same contents just a different icon and that's how you make a Windows desktop icon